Hello, this is Constitutional Conversations with Everett. In this video, I'm going to talk about a quote that I found the other day. I don't even know how I found this. I was just on the internet, and I found this quote from Roger Sherman. Roger Sherman was a signer of both the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution of the United States. I actually talk about him in my Founding Fathers video, the first video in my Constitution Breakdown series. And so you can go to that video. I'll link it below in the description. But I came across, the, across this quote from him, and it says, Sad will be the day when the American people forget their traditions and their history, and no longer remember that the country they love, the institutions they cherish, and the freedom they hope to preserve were born from the throes of armed resistance to tyranny and nursed in the rugged arms of fearless men. Roger Sherman. Just a very interesting and very powerful quote from Roger Sherman. Sad will be the day when the American people forget their traditions and their history. How many people, where we have an election coming up, how many of the people running for president have forgotten that the history of our country, have forgotten the traditions that we are founded on, the traditions people are trying to overturn nowadays? The country they love, some people are saying that, I know one of the candidates running for president said that America was never great. America, they, they don't, People nowadays don't love our country anymore. The freedom that we hope to preserve, people, some people are trying to overturn freedom. And I'm not just talking about Democrats. I'm talking about people on both sides of the aisle. People are trying to overturn freedom. People are against, we're born in the throes of armed resistance to tyranny. Some people don't want our citizens to even be armed anymore. They don't want us to be able to resist tyranny anymore with the most effective weapons that we can. And they were nursed in the arms of fearless men. How many men and women, how many people in our government nowadays are fearless? How many of them are true, honest, courageous, fearless people? Not many, I would say. And so to break down this quote, it's just very sad. And it's a, a very inspirational, it should be inspirational that we should return. We should be pointing our country towards in a few years, maybe a day will come when we remember our traditions and our history, and we remember the country we love, and we cherish our institutions, and we preserve our freedom, and we resist tyranny with the arms that we have, and become fearless patriots and defenders of freedom and the Constitution. So anyway, just a, a very powerful quote, and I just wanted to share it with you guys so that you guys could see it. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to uh, comment, you can do that. Uh, like, subscribe, share this video, turn notifications on. Uh, check out these books that we've got in the description below. Um, that would really help to support the channel. Uh, so thank you for watching Constitutional Conversations with Everett, uh, and have a good day.